I failed at being you, but I'm winning at being me. I'm winning at being free. Ain't no competition but me. See, I realize that I'm free, and I realize that I'm me. And I found out that I'm not alone, and there's plenty of people like me. That What's good? I'm Jack, and I'm back with another bootleg figure review. And this time, I'll be reviewing the Revoltec Amazing Yamaguchi Wolverine. Now, I know I'm way behind when it comes to reviewing this figure. I've been wanting this figure ever since I seen the official figure get announced. And then when I saw the bootlegs going up, I wanted to buy it, but I just never got around to it. And then one day, I just went ahead and, you know, put in a bid for an auction. For this figure and i ended up winning so now i actually have the figure and i gotta say i'm actually glad like for full disclosure i opened this figure and took him out and played with him for a little while honestly this might be my favorite wolverine figure even though it's a bootleg this might be my favorite i mean i like it even more than the first bootleg wolverine that i had and this is like a sequel to that review and later on, I'll compare him to my other Wolverine figures. But as you can see, like the box is in great shape, even though I've had it for a couple of months. You know, there's the back. You just saw the side. Here's the back. Here's the other side. The top. And the bottom. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's get them out of the box and see what we're working with. Also, on another quick note, this is the, you know, cardboard background that came with the figure, and I really like these pictures. And it was just announced that we have a new X-Force Wolverine coming out, and I can't wait to get that figure. Here's Wolverine out of the package, and as you can see, he's a, he's actually very small. Like, he's way small, but then again, Wolverine is a really short guy, so, yeah, this is not to be surprised. And here's a more detailed, up-close look at Wolverine. And right off the bat, there's like two, you know, paint marks under the chin. And, you know, the front of the chest, the belt. The belt was kind of crooked when I got him out. I had to straighten that up. And sometimes, it, for some reason, I feel like his torso looks upside down to me, for, you know, for some reason. Yeah, but there's no, not really too many, you know, paint defects on the front of the figure. Going around to the back, Those are the feet. Here's the back of the figure and. Not a lot of, you know, paint defects on the back. Not that I can tell. I mean, there might be a little bleeding on the blue with the yellow coming through. But other than that, it's very well painted for a bootleg. All right, like I said, this, this might be my favorite Wolverine figure. Even though, you know, I, at first I didn't... I didn't like all the crazy articulation, but like once we get to it, like this quickly became one of the best Wolverines I've ever owned. Now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look at his accessories. And from right here, he came with two extra heads, a teeth gritting face and a screaming yelling face. And for the most part, they're, you know, decently painted well. There's a, you know, paint bleeding at the top of the heads and... You know, the spikes on the mask are shaped a little bit different, but that's just probably due to the cheap plastic they were used to make the figure. So, I mean, that doesn't really bother me because, you know, I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. As long as these heads are decently painted, that's all that really matters. And it looks like the heads weren't hand painted either. It's like they were airbrushed on. So, yeah. And I just dropped one of the heads, but yeah, these are some nice heads. You know, a pair of grasping open, you know, hands. And these are decently painted too. I mean, it's one solid, like dark blue, navy bluish metallic color. So, yeah, 
you don't really have to worry about any paint defects and as you can see these are where the claws attached to the hands and these are a pair of weapon holding hands although wolverine doesn't really need weapons and the only weapons i ever i would actually imagine him holding are like probably like some katanas or something but these hands already have the metal you know attachments where the claws extend and retract it's still you know those are you know sculpted into these hands and, and so you can't attach the claws to this pair of hands and these are nicely painted but oh uh, yeah and if you didn't notice you can see like actual veins on the sides of these hands like he's really you know he, he like these he pr he'll probably grip a sword a little bit way too hard if you got veins popping out of his hands like that but Wolverine is a really intense guy so yeah I wouldn't be too surprised here we have a cigar holding hand even though he doesn't come with a cigar and on this hand you can see the veins popping out as well so he smokes cigars very intensely too although I'm glad he doesn't come with a cigar because you know I don't like smoking and I hate the smell of smoke and I wouldn't want my figures actually smoking so everyone else's Wolverine can be the type to smoke cigars but mine won't and here we have his claws that you know can attach to two pairs of the hands you know and I like I actually like the shape of these claws way better than the shape of the claws for the Marvel Legends figure like I wish the Marvel Legends figures had claws shaped like this although you know maybe at one point in the future they'll have claws just like this as well and here we have the little slashing effect piece I mean I'm not gonna use this at all so it's just gonna be here it's just a clear piece of plastic I mean I like the look of it I like the shape of it but I'm probably not gonna use it so yeah and last of all he came with some extra pegs and a stand which is always good to, it's always good to have you know a few extra clear flight stands but I'm just probably gonna just gonna throw this stand in with the rest of my stand. As you can see, he didn't really come with a lot of accessories, but now that we have that out of the way, I can get into his articulation. He can look up that much. He can look down like that. I think he has like a double peg in his neck and head. I mean, his head gets a lot of range of movement. The arms can go up like that because of the double ball peg. And it's a weird, you know, joint. But all Revo Techs have weird joints like that. Arms, it's a single hinge, but it folds up. It bends pretty well. But I just don't like the fact that they stick out the way they do. And there's this extra, like, shoulder articulation. It's weird, but I like it and the hand is on a ball peg and you know the other arm has the exact same articulation scheme it's not hindered at all you know dealing with boot leg you know one arm might be well articulated and the other arm just might be stuck glued stuck or you know painted stuck or whatever but yeah as you can see a lot of range of movement in these joints like he can punch himself in the face all right here we have a waist his waist joint he can bend down that much and bend back I mean there's a little gap in there and in the back it's weird you know the belt was on kind of crooked and so you can see the little gapping right here at the waist but I mean so not so much and I just noticed there's a little paint chipping right here where the blue meets the yellow on his butt all right the waist swivels side to side at the top and the bottom of the waist legs can you know kick out that much when I first got it you know this this you know thigh swivel was very tight I had to run hot water on it and then the knees were very were like you know painted stuck 
And so I had to pop those off and, you know, run hot water with those. It's not a double jointed knee, but it, it has a great bend. There's like a boot swivel. It's on like a little ball hinge. A nice ball hinge for the ankle. And we have some, you know, pivot side to side and a toe hinge. And it's the same thing on the other side, you know. Thigh swivel, knees can bend pretty good. Ball jointed ankle swivel. I mean, ball jointed calf swivel. You know, ankle pivot and rotation with the toe hinge. All right, now let's get into the height of this figure. This figure stands about. No, about five and a half inches. You know, just under five and a half inches. Like one hair under five and a half inches. So he's kind of short. I mean, but he's the perfect Wolverine height and the perfect build, actually. Like, I really, I really enjoy this figure. But also, I just noticed that he has blue markings on his pants. But, like I said, this. That doesn't really bother me that much. I'm not a perfectionist. And this is a bootleg. So, I mean, it's as good as it's going to get. And also, I had to take notice that the yellow on the head and the yellow on the body are two different colors. And the, you know, the painted belt buckle is it's missing some yellow paint on the belt buckle as well. But other than that, it's perfectly fine. Now with all that out of the way, let's get into some size comparisons. Here he is next to an Articulated Icons Ninja and a Mythic Legion's Delfina. A Mattel WWE Goldberg figure and a Mattel DC Multiverse Jessica Cruz Green Lantern figure. Nega 90's Movie Turtles Donatello and Hasbro Lightning Collection White Ranger. And like these three represents my childhood growing up in the 90s perfectly because that's all I used to watch. Power Rangers, X-Men, Ninja Turtles. SH Figure Watch Infinity War Hulk and SH Figure Watch Super Vegeta. And these two are two of my favorite characters of all time. Neca God of War 4 Kratos and Storm Collectible Street Fighter 5 Ken. And here he is next to my various other Marvel Legends Wolverines and X-23s and Deadpool. We have the Tiger Stripe Wolverine, the Brown Suit Wolverine, X-23 Wolverine, X-Force X-23, and X-Force Deadpool. Here he is next to various other X-Men characters, Omega Red, Sabretooth, Jubilee, Psylocke, Gambit, and Beast. Now, I do have Rogue and Dark Phoenix, but I didn't feel like, you know, digging down into my action figure chest to get those figures out just for this review. I actually had these figures out and on hand, so these are the only X-Men figures that I use for the review. Since she's a bootleg Revotech figure too, my Judy Hops figure, and my first bootleg Wolverine, the Marvel Legends Puck series bootleg Wolverine. All in all, I gotta say I love this figure regardless if it's a bootleg or not because this figure is amazing. This is one of the best bootlegs I've ever owned, and I just uh, I just love this figure so much. Like, look at that articulation. Like he can crouch down. He can get into a blocking pose. Like, it's just so amazing. Like, I mean, his articulation is funny looking, but, like, it's amazing. Like, I, I can't keep saying it. It's amazing. The amazing Wolverine. I wonder if they ever made a comic book series of that. Anywho, we yeah, have a sense. Oh, yeah, since I didn't do it earlier in the video, I'll try switching out the hands right now. And I also noticed that this pair of hands is actually the only pair of hands that you can, you know, put the claws on. 
It's kind of tough, but it's... Oh. And yeah, the pig split. Just like that. Oh. That sucks. Right at the end of the video, just when I was saying this was one of the best bootleg figures I've ever had. He goes and something like this happens. Just my luck. After the technical difficulty I had, I did get the hand on. And as you can see, they can switch out pretty well. And yeah, this figure is still amazing regardless of that, you know, that minor difficulty. And I'm trying to see if I can get him in a pose, you know, similar to the one that's on the box. So, yeah. You know. Yeah, I should switch out this head, too. It was a lot easier switching out the head than it was for me to switch out the hands. But as you can see, this thing, like, you can get into some crazy poses with this figure i love it 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 but yeah i would give this figure a, a nine out of ten you know what i'll just give this figure a straight up ten because it's that it's that amazing to me like oh this is the best this is like this is like this may become my definitive wolverine figure like i said but anywho, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched the video all the way through. Thank you to all my recent subscribers. I really appreciate it. And with that being said, it's been real.